G'day adventurers. It's been a while, but I'm finally back in the kitchen. Now, if you're a better bait collector than fishermen like me, then don't despair because today's dish is going to be made from good old Pippi. These little beauties. So if you're good at getting these, don't worry, I'll make a good dish. So let's get into it. One important thing to do before cooking up pippies is to ensure that they've been uh, purged of the sand, otherwise you will be eating sand. So if you have a look here, here's some little beauties I'll be keeping going. These are the ones I'm about to cook. You can see that they've purged a lot of junk out. Uh, they're all alive there. So what I've been doing is changing the water uh, twice a day. Uh, just for the last day or so so they give them time to purge out the the sand so it's important to put clean water in there and keep changing it uh, so they stay alive stay tasty that water needs to be seawater not fresh water we want to keep them alive and give them time to purge so make sure you go down to the ocean get some clean seawater and change it regularly all right, so four ingredients. Of course, we've got the pippies. They're nice and fresh. As I just said, keeping them alive is the best. Lemon, coconut milk, fish sauce, organic aminos, that's replacing some soy sauce. Uh, good old coconut oil. And what do we got down here? Coriander, that's kaffir lime leaves chopped up, chilies chopped up, uh, onions, red onions, some ginger and some Thai galangal. If you know what this galangal looks like this, it's the uh, another version of ginger type root. Very spicy, very delicious. Obviously gonna turn the heat on, turn, turn the stove on. So we're going to put a bit of the uh, coconut oil in first, about a tablespoon, let that all nicely melt, we can get that in there, and once that's melted we're going to put the first front ingredients in till it has a uh, fragrant smell to it, adding the galangal, the ginger, the chilies, onions and the kappa lime leaves. So putting that in just probably about a minute what it's going to take. Just to release that nice fragrance that we want. Okay, so next ingredient, uh, we've got that nicely smelling sensational. I'm going to put all of this coconut milk in the oh, bowl, like that. All this coconut milk, well, oh, hang on. So I'm adding a bit of coconut amino instead of the uh, soy sauce, probably. So just a nice dash of that. Good old fish sauce. I'm going to put another same similar amount in that. Ruthie. So come over look here. We've got this uh, nicely boiling now. Perfect. So now the magic ingredient, the pippies. So oh, we've got a nice boiling action going on here. Maybe it's too much. Turn it down a bit. So you're going to add these. The fellas. And basically just cook those until they open up. Put 
probably only take a minute or so. We're back on the boil. So yeah, just leave them boil now until they open up, as I said. You can see now they're starting to open up. So I'm gonna cook it for another minute or so on top of that minute, just to make sure that the insides are all nicely cooked. I don't want to eat raw pippy without nicely all opening up. That's a good sign of a nice fresh pippy if they open up. There we go. All opening up. If any don't open, you should just remove them just in case. You, uh, you definitely need to have them open so you can access them anyway to eat them. So take any unopened ones out and put them aside. Add a bit of lemon, as much as you like. Whoops. And put a whole half in here. And a bit of the uh, coriander. Like so. done so just you can use a implement to, to tip all that out but I've just gone straight pour straight into a bowl set up and look at that fantastic all right so time to dig in and have a taste get a bit of the pippy out a bit of a bit of sauce and a bit of flavor Mm. Mm. That is sensational. So next time, don't throw away your bait. Cook it up. Mm. That's sensational. I might even give up fishing and just go bait collecting from now on. Well, I'm going to get stuck into this. Thanks for watching. Join me next time as I cook up another bait. Maybe it'll be worms next time, eh? See you then.